Hello lovely viewers of Sharing Community. Welcome back to your own channel, your own community. Thank you so much for your love and support for our visually impaired community. As always we say, sharing is caring. So please share, like and subscribe to receiving awesome contents. And also, love, live, love. Take care and see you soon. Everybody on Sharing Community. Welcome to the Sharing Community platform. And here is another video by Alexandra Negrater, the blind soap maker. You can see me on my own YouTube channel, Alexandra Negrater, the blind soap maker, or alternatively, you can just watch me here. You can support me on www.theblindsoapmaker.com .co.uk and I really do hope you enjoy this video. Return to project list. Then, button. This Galaxy device records items that are not in its own database. But when you scan the item, it comes back with the information as to what it is. There we go. Stop. So it's not just the Galaxy that reads out. Stop. Barcode scanners and that can tell you all about the product that you're using. You can also get Seeing AI free or InVision for a pound a month. And there will be plenty of others. Here are two boxes from the chemist. They look pretty similar but have entirely different products. I'm now going to scan the barcodes. That's an interesting one. Close. You do Button. get that with these things. But I suppose you get what you pay for at the end of the day. Processing. Acid ointment, 450 grams. There we go. Salicylic acid at 450 grams. Now I'm going to go for Check. more information. Button. Because I know it's not a traffic thing. Heading. Salicylic acid ointment. Salicylic acid ointment. Salicylic acid ointment. 450 grams. Heading level two. Salicylic acid ointment. Salicylic acid ointment is for the treatment of hyperkeratotic and scaling conditions such as psoriasis. It works by helping the layers of skin to peel and shed where it is applied. Salicylic acid ointment is suitable for adults, the elderly, and children. Mobile data. One of four bars. Vodafone Wi-Fi four. Salicylic acid ointment. 450 gram. Back. 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 So, Close. as you can see, this is useful for knowing Close. what product Close. it is in on on my shelves or when I buy it or whether I can use it on my own skin. Again, the same Processing. with this Hydromol. product. So now I know this is Hydromol. And I can even go more, Share. Button. more info. Button. Play. Button. and get more information. Okay. The thing I find most interesting about these QR scanners slash barcode scanners is I'm not quite sure what it is scanning in order to get the information and I'm not quite sure which database it's attached to. But what I find most interesting is how sometimes you won't get the product's name or the manufacturer's name or any of the information about what it's made out of, but you will get the chemical information. This sun cream is a stereotypical example of this. Close. Sorry. Menu. Processing. There we go. High angle view of Bahia Wulaya Bay Murray Channel Tira Delfuego Chili Stretch Canvas. Panoramic images. 10x40. I don't think it's Close. quite that. Button. I'm going to try this one again. Button. 85,667 NSUN cock of Nina Bia Gunzaru, Videnses, Rinxes. There we go. As you can see, Close. it can be a bit temperamental as to what product you bought, but as long as you know that this isn't a traffic light, you're pretty safe. And <laughs> you use common sense. You're pretty safe. However, the way in which this has worked, 
this works. And the way in which Galaxy works is exactly the same. It scans the QR code, well actually technically it takes a photograph of it, and then searches in a database for what product it is. And then brings that database down to you and tells you that data down to you and tells you that it's salicylic acid. The Galaxy does the same thing, except the Galaxy, like the barcode scanners for the self-service at Sainsbury's, has a laser function. This means that it's far more accurate. And that is why you're paying the big bucks of £2,000 for something like that, rather than the Seeing AI, which is free, or Envision, which is a little bit better and is a pound a month. But I'm not subscribed, and I'm not sure it will stay a pound a month, so please don't take my word for it and look it up. But the basic model of the design originally put into practice for those who are disabled or at least visually impaired or dyslexic or, or whatever who need to know what it is and can only find out through the use of touch or um, a little bit of colour vision or you know at, at what the look of the product is can find out what similar products are via the packaging using the scanning of a QR code. This exact design has then been put in place in your local Sainsbury's with the QR code scanners that I'm about to give you a show of. The only difference is, is that the ones in store, though accurate, are not actually accessible. So they've taken what was an accessible design and put it out into the world without making sure that it's accessible to as many people as it possibly could be, you know? Once I've shown you some of these clips, I'll, I'll tell you how I think they could make this accessible. See you soon, guys. In order to scan fruit, you place it in the weighing machine and then scan the barcode. Try again. Now what do I do? Now, is there anything else you need to do? Uh, no. No, so if you just put, put the orange button, press check out, there. Did you use any bags? No. So you press, press, there's a box on the top, middle and the left. Up, 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 down, there. Bit, up, bit, bit further up. Yeah, okay. Now you choose your payment method. So, how do you want to pay? I'm going to pay by card. Right, okay. Now you have to tell it which way to do it. So, again, there's a there's a button up the top left that says card contactless. Oh, yeah. Card contactless there. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Now you now it says you go to the machine. You have to put it in. Right. Please wait. Put in your pin number. Take your card out. So what I think they should do is this. I genuinely believe that if they can attach a set of headphones, or at least we can plug in our own headphones for hygiene reasons into your 
ATM machines to get our cash out in order to get the speech software to read the screen to us, then I'm sure that they could do the same or something similar for the touchscreen appliances that they have in Sainsbury's, Tesco's. In fact, your local hospital has a very similar thing, only they don't use a scanning device in order to scan your letter in to know where exactly to go within the hospital. What they use is, a, is your own NHS code that you type in and then they say to the receptionist, they send a message out to the receptionist saying you're here and it comes back with information about um, how to get to the place that you're looking for within the hospital. Now, obviously, I don't use these things myself, so some of that information may be inaccurate. But I think that they could quite easily put speech software on these devices and just have, let's say, a Bluetooth connection capability. Or they could have um, just, you know, your average little port to plug yourself in to then be able to tell how much money it's going to be when you get to the till. Obviously, as a, a group of people uh, that may or may not make money because, you know, the world is a big place and some of us may more make more money. We are highly likely to be on the, the, the poorer end of the scale of making money. And so we like to know how much of our budget we're spending when we go shopping. So it would be really, really nice if those at Sainsbury's or Tesco's or in the hospitals could make these machines accessible because then it could reduce the time you're spending going to a till. Um, in theory, it could actually make it quicker. I know that in practice, people may struggle to find the codes, but the thing about a laser is that when you switch it on, it is constantly searching for the product. So you can just spin your product round to find it and it will pick it up automatically. You don't necessarily have to be able to see to actually do that. So that I've said my piece and I'm hoping that you guys or someone out there who is more knowledgeable than me could actually do something about this. So see you later guys, bye bye.